waka 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 what is cracking found my exit back here with another video welcome welcome i hope you've been well taking care of yourself and ripping into some packs of your own a very very special video today we threw it out there to the community to the audience and we said what should we do we put out four options we'll throw them up on the screen and evolving skies crushed it i know there is huge buzz at the moment around evolving skies so it makes sense i definitely thought that generations would have been a little bit higher up on that list but you know what for the drop video today we are going with the one that was chosen which is evolving skies and we will weigh some packs to see you know purely for science i will call out i'm not weighing packs for any other purpose apart from to hopefully disprove that these packs can be weighed and if i do prove that they can be weighed to educate people out there to be warned if you are buying loose packs now we'll throw over to the storage cupboard and we'll find out where we're getting our evolving skies packs from and then we'll meet you back at the desk for the weighing let's go all right you already know what we're doing here we are going to go evolving skies and my thoughts are the tins that we love to hate um i know these have alt art pools in them i want to prove that so why not make this a double whammy video where we try and prove that these tins do from time to time have the goods they do have brilliant stars fusion strike and evolving skies down the bottom there so i think i'm gonna grab a bunch of those tins rip them open get the evolving skies out because i'm sure you've seen prices lately and i don't really want to rip one of the booster boxes over there they're going kind of crazy in price not that i'll ever sell them but yeah, I think we try and double prove this to so get a bunch of Evolving Skies packs from those tins. Don't know how we're going to show it, don't know how we're going to do it, but I'm going to end up ripping a bunch of them open, getting the packs out, weighing them, and then seeing what is what. We'll find out how we can do this and we'll see you back at the desk. The tins have been busted into. We'll get the evolving skies out, stack them up, start weighing. Don't forget, Diamond and Pearl is our vintage set of the month for March. Go ahead and throw your guesses for that randomly selected Pokemon from this set. It's not just the artworks here, it's from the whole set. Into the comments section, you can get one guess per video for the whole month. So every video you can throw a guess into. And we have hit that 2K sub goal. So this beautiful, beautiful 1999 base set Charizard artwork booster pack is going to one lucky subscriber. I'm gonna to aim to have that announced for the video we'll be dropping on the 30th of March, where we will be busting into a heavy base set unlimited booster pack. I am beyond excited. Thank you all for all of the support you have supplied the channel. Go ahead and enjoy the video today. Look at this for a thing of beauty. 36 Evolving Skies packs. I was going to do less, but I thought, uh, you know, we'll do a booster box equivalent amount. So we've got 36 packs of Evolving Skies. As you would have seen, these are from those tins. So let's hope that we do get lucky and show some of those alt arts that you can get from Evolving Skies. This is huge. I mean, booster boxes Evolving Skies have been going absolutely off the charts up in price. A thousand plus Australian dollars for an Evolving Skies booster box at the moment. I think 1,200 I've seen. 1,300, like Australian that is. So like even a thousand US isn't um, probably out the realms of possibility of what we've seen going at the market at the moment. So yep, probably not the most financially smart decision on my behalf, rinsing about a thousand plus worth in Evolving Skies packs, but it is for science as mentioned i do not condone the weighing of packs and hopefully this video helps arm everyone out there to either avoid getting sucked into some of those traps and that is the reason the booster boxes are so expensive sealed goods will also go always go for a premium over your loose packs but there is a chance these packs are unweighable and I'm very curious to find out for myself and not trust someone else out there saying it. Um, I don't know how I'm going to weigh these, but we'll go through it bit by bit. Now, um, each of these tins did have a code card in it. So for those out there that do chase code cards, it needs to be, this needs to be rewarding for everyone involved, not just you getting the code card. So we're going to be doing a speed round. I hope that uh, your pause game is down pat. Maybe you've fallen into some of those thirst traps out there and your pause game's on song. Well, you'll need it for today. So we will fly through this and anyone looking for code cards, enjoy. Enjoy. 
All right, there we go. So, you know, that was for the people out there that chase code cards. If you missed any of them, well, I'm sorry. A waka waka, tough shit. We will now grab all these, throw them to the side, and get into the weighing of the packs. Okay, just working out the logistics here a little bit. I have tested a few different packs, and as you can see, that one there is 22.09. What I have done is I've gone ahead and then written that on the back so I don't lose track once I speed through these. And there's another one, which was 20.15. So a big difference between those two weights, which is probably where we'll find out if this is a you know, myth or truth, um, and hopefully bust that. So I'll keep writing the weights on the back of these packs and weighing them and fast forward this process for everyone out there. And then I'll, I'll sort them and we'll get into it. All right, I have officially weighed all 36 packs. Let me just do some logistical work, get them all in order. I'll jot down their weights because I want to be as accurate as possible with deep disproving this. Um, at first glance, I'm seeing like 21.45 is like that average or 4.3 is that average, but we'll work it out factually and put it on the screen. Um, I'll be back in a second. Waka, 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 waka. All right, all right. Science found my exit here. We've got our stacks of packs. We've got 20 grams. So starting with 20 grams, starting with 21s, and starting with 22s. So I don't know if this is a good or a bad sign to the fact that these probably can be weighed. I'm leaning towards this is probably not a positive sign to the fact that these probably can be weighed. But our lightest pack was coming in at 20 grams flat. And our heaviest pack, if I grab it from the bottom, because it'll be our last, was 21 point. Uh, sorry, 22.18, as you would have seen. Um, I probably will work an average out and share that on the screen, but I think it's that mid-21 range. As you can see, majority of the packs are in the 21 point something or other, and then the outliers being the 20.0s and the 22s. So, I mean, if you're saying packs can be weighed, you're generally going to be saying the 22s are all going to have hits. This pile is all going to have not hits. We're going to start from lightest to heaviest. I will quickly jot down in my notebook if we get like a V, a V Max, um, a Reg Hollow, any of those kinds. Probably not Reg Hollows, probably just V Stars, V Maxes, um, V Hits, Alt Arts, obviously. See if that texture counts for weight. And again, I do not condone the weighing of packs. This is purely for science to give any of those people out there a bit of a myth bust. If um, we can find out they can't be weighed, awesome. Loose packs, go ahead, buy away. If they, if it proves the packs can be weighed, then you know, just be aware and alert. And you probably want to work it out for yourself. I know people who have weighed packs, and I don't trust anyone else out there apart from myself. So um, this is my own little science. I know a lot of people hold on to loose packs of Evolving Skies specifically. So I'll push these stacks just to the side um, and we'll start with the lightest, as I mentioned, and we'll go through to the heaviest. So we've still got those figures on the back there, 20.00 all the way through to 20.35 here. Um, and again, yeah, I'm sure there's plenty of other things I wanted to say, but very, very um, logistically interesting, this opening. So we'll get into it. Evolving Skies, everyone is aware. It's going gangbusters at the moment. So you're welcome. 36 packs of Evolving Skies in a booster box is over $1,000 in value. But these have come from those tins. So we will potentially see some weird, weird things happening um, from what might or might not be in these packs. And there's a no-hitter code card. The code cards don't matter. These tins have proved it time and time again. It doesn't mean anything, but it will likely, if the weighing is correct, mean that we won't get hits in our lighter ones and we'll get hits in the heavier packs. Now, I don't know, what are your thoughts out there? I know people hate weighing modern packs. I hate it as well. I just want to know if it's possible because if it's possible, I want to be more aware of it. Got a storage issue there in our second pack of the 20 grammers, 20.09 just ripped into this. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. I had filmed an absolute ton that I was going to time lapse from this one, as I mentioned, it's a bit of a logistical nightmare, this one. So 
Um, hopefully I do it justice and everyone enjoys watching it. It's not just a whole bunch of time-lapsed, boring things. So we will see. Second pack of Evolving Skies from the lower realms. As expected, um, if they are weighable, these aren't going to have anything in it. What's, um, I think I was asking, was, we got the 20.15. I was asking everyone, what's everyone's opinion on weighing packs or is it possible? You might already know the answer to the question that we're working out today. You may have gone ahead and um, weighed Evolving Skies yourself, as I just did the wrong number of cards to the front. Um, or you may have, you know, watched someone who you trust's opinion in doing this exact thing. I know there are a few people out there. As we have a Metachamp V there. Let's get a Mantle. Let's get a Mantle out. I'm excited to see a hit from one of the lighter packs. That makes me very, very happy. Um, and there will be some admin of me having to go back through and watching and making sure we had the right amount of cards in all these packs. All those types of things. But that's really good. That was our... Um, that was our... 21.15, I believe. So now we've got 20.21 here. That's really good to see a full art um, from that pack. That makes me kind of happy um, and excited that this might disprove these packs being weighed. I think I saw something in the back of this pack. So I think we might have another hit if we are lucky as we do have the Glaceon V, not an alt art, but still two full art Vs, and that's back to back from our lower tier packs. This is severely off center, that one. Probably um, go and get yourself an OC grade on that for sure, but back to back full arts here, and I am loving seeing this. There is nothing better than disproving that certain packs can be weighed. I am very, very happy with that. All right, the next one is 20.25. I'll probably throw the weights of the packs as I go up on the screen or the range. I've got them all noted here to the side, so I'll definitely be able to do that if I don't manage um, to get it in. Now, again, I know that was a hit code card, but don't get your hopes up. How many times have we been screwed in the past by the code card letting us think we've got something and then showing us absolutely nothing? All right, as we have... Okay, just a reg hollow there. Um... But another hit, I guess. I guess the code card was correct, is what I'm saying there. All right, what have we got? 20.29. Bit of a different style video today. You all voted for it. Um, so I hope that you enjoy it. Everyone, as I said, has been throttling on the evolving skies at the moment. So it makes sense that um, it was the selected option. I was a bit surprised that Generations wasn't higher up. It's quite similar to the Reshi Zard collection box as we got a no-hitter there for that pack. Um, might just jot down. Yep. All right. 20.29 as we come to the end of the pile of our extremely lights. But yeah, what I might do is I might, I might put the second option that came or the option that came second uh, I might do that video for Sunday because I do have a gap. I was meant to have my vending machine challenge in there, but have had to deal with some um, sicknesses at home. So unfortunately, didn't get out to film what I needed to for that one as we do have another reg hollow there. Um, yeah, which means I, I will have to just put the vending machine challenge video into our next month of videos. But it does mean we'll likely be ripping into some generations or that Reshi Zard GX box. All right. This is a very, um, very dumb opening when it comes to like financial responsibility. Uh, and I hope you all respect the degeneracy because ripping into evolving skies as we do have the Reg V Suicune there. Um, yeah, I hope that you are happy with the fact that I don't have a financially smart bone in my body and ripping into a bunch of evolving skies. So we bring across the biggest tower of packs. This is the 21 grammers, the lightest of the batch being 21.3, heaviest of the batch being 21.96. So 21.3 as mentioned. Um, and a bunch of hits out of that 20 range. So I don't know, maybe... Oh, I mean, you, you can have it so that like all the mid ranges are no hits and then all of the heavier ones are hits and all the lighter ones are hits. But I don't know, we had probably what, three, five hits out of the eight 20 ish gram packs we had. I know some of those are just reg hollows, but you got to think that like heaviness wise, a full art with the texture on it and all of that artwork has to be heavier than like a non 
hollow or even just a reg hollow. But um, yeah, I mean, maybe these code cards in these packs, as much as they are often wrong, are doing exactly what their job is, which is to make packs unweighable. We weighed Hidden Fates a while ago. It was quite a while ago. I could see a hit there, I think. So it could just be a v, um, v star card, but we'll find out. Yeah, I, I weighed Hidden Fates a while ago, and we got a full art shiny out of our heaviest and our lightest pack. So code cards definitely working in that set. Um, and I love disproving that because I had bought some of those as we do have a rainbow rare there. Nice. Like I'm happy if I'm burning a bunch of catch, a cash opening evolving skies, I'm happy just as long as I'm getting a bunch of hits. So let's put next to that one, the rainbow rare. I forget which one it was. I think it was, yeah. Okay. Got it. Sorry, for science purposes, I want to make sure I track down which weight packs had what in it. So I can completely disprove this at the end. But, I mean, it is looking good. Like, if you would think that, oh, Rainbow Rares or Full Arts or Alt Arts or VMAXs were heavier or lighter, um, we've kind of... We've got, we've got to keep going. We don't have a big enough sample study yet to say definitively one way or another. But definitely um, looking positive to the fact that I don't believe... We're going to say that these can be weighed. All right. Our next one is 21.36. And these all came from the same product. So it's not like, you know, some came from a blue booster box. Some came from a blisters. This is all from the same types of products, all from the same variety of tins, all from the same print run of these tins. So uh, later evolving skies. Um, but I don't think that, that would have necessarily changed too much. What's everyone think of the Evolving Skies bandwagon? Are you um, well and truly on it? Are you sick and tired of hearing about it? Um, like, I mean, the hype definitely does push price. And, you know, if you are someone who likes just collecting the hits out of these sets, it makes it difficult. As I do think we've got a hit in this set, in this set, in this pack. Let's find out what we've got. Let's peek the corner. Oh, I think it's a full art VMAX. Please be an alt art. It is the Sylveon VMAX alt art, baby. And that is actually really well centered. Let's get that in a sleeve. Oh, yeah. We have done it. We have finally done it, everybody. Celebrate the good times of... Oh, my God. The tins have finally done it. How many tins... That's got to be somewhere in the ballpark, as I'm too shaky to even get this in a top loader. That's got to be somewhere in the ballpark of 200 tins that we've busted through now, but that makes it all worth it. And we still have a whole bunch, a whole bunch of packs to come. I am stoked with that. That is definitely going to get the mantle and one of the cooler um, alt arts, in my opinion, from Evolving Skies. Funny enough, that is like the one alt art that I have actually pulled from Evolving Skies. <laughs> the one alt art. But um, I don't care. I'll pull it all every, all day, every day, just to see that beautiful artwork. What a brilliant card. So now I need to work out what pack. I think that was 21.38. So right, right in the mid-range, that one, for the um, alt art. Hell yeah, Alt Art Sylveon. We are, maybe we saved all our dud, uh, all our good tins for this opening. All the duds maybe are gone, and we're just in for a beautiful time as we do see the variety of different code cards. Let's um, have a little flick through this one and see what we can. Whether we can disprove that code card or not. I'm in shock still after that Alt Art. It's been so long opening these tins that that's just the best news ever. Everything from here is just gravy. I know that doesn't cover the cost of what we put into this, but um, one more alt art probably will. And if that grades a 10, which the centering on that's not too bad, definitely within the parameters of PSA, um, we could be in the business. We could be in the business of making some good cash. I know that the Sylveon um, VMAX alt art goes pretty good in price. Compared to, I think the it's probably the, I don't know, you would have seen it on the screen at the start if we flick through the hits, but it's like the third or fourth uh, biggest hit, I think. So we do have the hollow there with the Raichu. All right, 
21.43. This is right in the average. This was like right, and I, I'm, I'm guessing that. I haven't actually calculated what the average is. I will do that before I edit the video and pop it up, but um, I believe it was right around that, yeah, 21.4 something as the average. Could be 4.5, 4.6, 4.3. But um, this was that middle range. We did see majority of the packs in this weight bracket as we do have another hollow there. So reg hollows coming in hot. Oh, I'm excited. How good is that? Pulling an alt art. Let's see if we can get another one of those beautiful VMAX evolutions. Um, I saw the side of it and I was like, I saw that little bit of color there. And like VMAXs are often like they go all the way across the border in the VMAXs. And I was like, oh, there's just a lot of activity across that line. I wasn't sure. Um, loved the teaser peeking the side. And then to see that when we ripped it off. Whoo! We made it. We made it, baby. Rinse a grand to get $300 back. Yeah. Nah, it's going to be... Across all the hits will be more than that. 21.44. And you know, you need to sell your hits to be able to say that it's like money back. I just keep everything. Um, definitely don't sell enough to cover my cost, but who cares? Just as long as we're all having fun watching, ripping into packs, ripping into packs, you know, living vicariously through me if you have to do that. That's what I'm here for. It's what I'm to supply the goods of. As we have another reg hollow there, I think that was the 44, the point 44. Um, yes. So go ahead, please, if you are not already, smash that like button and um, subscribe to the channel. It definitely helps us bring you more crazy things like this. You see so many people at the moment ripping Evolving Skies, but they're not ripping English because it's so bloody expensive. A lot of Korean Evolving Skies, a lot of Chinese Evolving Skies, um, a little bit of AV Heroes, but yeah, definitely people have backed off ripping into the um, English Evolving Skies. So I hope... That gets everyone out there enough enough of a, an interest or desire to smash that like button for me right now as we get into our next pack, 21.46. A lot of hollows coming from this mid-21 range. I don't know if that's anything to go off of. As I mentioned, you know, you would think that the texture on an alt art on a full art V would be um, heavier than other packs or other, other cards. So, uh, look... We will wait till the end or we'll wait till I do a summary to be able to disprove whether these are um, weighable or not. But I'm, I'm very much leaning towards saying they're not uh, based upon what we have seen so far from these packs. All right. I thought I saw something, but I think it was nothing. I think I got ahead of myself there. It's natural. I don't know if you're like me, but I can't help but like as soon as I rip into a pack, if I see any little shine on the side, my head goes straight to what is that? You know? So it definitely wasn't a hit with that Talon Flame non hollow rare there. All right, next we have the 21.47. That's really good news. If we can pull an alt art, potentially another big hit here. Um, and disprove that Evolving Skies loose, loose packs can be weighed. I um, That's like the biggest win result out of this video. Absolute biggest win result. So many, so many things to still improve on the channel. Um, we will continue making those improvements bit by bit, but I just... My number one priority is keeping the, con uh, the content consistent and bringing you new videos as we go. So a bit of a jump up here from 21.47 to 21.9. Let's see if there is any me method or reason to that madness um, or if, again, the weight doesn't mean anything. Yeah, some big things to come on the channel. I know I've been looking to do a face cam. I've been looking to do lives. I've been looking to get membership set up. All those things just keep on taking a back foot to the fact that, you know, I work full time and got two kids. So um, definitely just want to, at minimum, get my content out there for everyone to view and enjoy. Um, but so many of those other things I do want to get in the works and sorted out as it does look like there is something in this pack we haven't had a ton of reg Vs. We had that one Suicune earlier um, and a bunch of hollows as of late, but I'm not upset with that. Oh, I think we got a reg V in this pack as we do have another Suicune. So, 
you know, you got to think, well, Suicune and Suicune probably weigh the same, um, and that pack was well, well and truly heavier than the pack that had the original Suicune in it. So that one was um, 0.92, so let's just go V. So that that compared that these silly coons just to let's let's hope let's do some science here whilst we do it. So came from a twenty one point nine two, came from a twenty point three five. That's huge difference in weight and the exact same result. So look, there's chalk that one up in the column of cannot be weighed. I like that. I like to see that. I like to see that. Again, um, I'd, I don't know if I should say it, like the nerves running at an all time high for the base set unlimited heavy pack opening, um, but can't say it enough. Really, really do love all of the support we get out there from the channel. Um, the community is constantly giving positive feedback, um, different ideas. I just, I just love it. I love hearing all of it and I do try to respond to every single person that either reaches out, comments, um, does anything to do with engaging to the channel. I think that that's something I always pride myself on being able to do. And um, yeah, I know you guys appreciate it. I know a certain portion of everyone out there appreciates it. And those that aren't subbed, I'm not trying to be annoying, but do hit that sub button because it helps us quantify being able to do more crazy, crazy shit. All right, let's see if we can disprove the no-hitter code card in one of these. We've done it in the tins before, and you guys have seen me get excited about a hit code card um, plenty of time and then find that we didn't have a hit. So we didn't disprove it in that one there, and we've gone through the stack of 21s. I might put these hollows in a pile and bring these across. And we do have our heavier packs. So we are looking at 22 flat all the way through to 22.18. It's pretty cool. All right. Let's see. One last big hit here from Evolving Skies would be beautiful to see. Can we, can we be so lucky to ask? I mean, a rainbow rare, two full art Vs, and an alt art. That's pretty good. I'm not going to complain about that makes me pretty happy so we do have the articuno hollow from the galarian gallery i don't know if i'm going to but i'll probably if there's a bit of an analysis that i need to do on the on the hits that came from what weights and those kinds of packs i'll probably um cut and then cut in the video of me explaining those answers because I won't be able to work them out on the fly just by looking at the notepad next to me. Um, but I do, the, re the reason, you know, I sometimes have longer videos of fast forwarded parts and all that kind of stuff is I do like to keep it as one take. So whether or not I fast forward a part or don't, um, and sometimes waffle way too much in between bits. I like to keep it as one cut because I want people to know that I'm not messing around with the packs, with whatever I'm doing. I've got no interest in doing any of that. I'm just trying to bring as, you know, transparent, honest truth to these types of things as possible. So that's the reason I like to keep it as like one, one cut whole video. Probably to my detriment because I could do some cool editing if I cut things, but um, yeah. I like people thinking full transparency. They can often see me opening the products I'm saying that I'm opening. Um, in this scenario, you know, I, I, it was hard to get footage of me going through all of the tins, but um, you saw the packs, you saw me weighing them. Yeah. So these heavier packs definitely look like they have, um, and it may be pure coincidence, but they, they haven't really had much in them yet. We had one hollow, I think, from one of them, and now we're getting up the range in heavy, 22.10. We haven't had any error packs. I definitely have had from these tins before packs that had um, two, on not two code cards, but like an extra card, um, a missing energy, all, all, all sorts of random things, some square cuts. Yeah, some really weird things have happened through these packs. And we have a, another holo rare there with the Marshadow. 
Um, I forgot what pack that was, but we'll find out when we look at the next one. What have we got? 0.212. Yeah, this one was weird compared to all the other packs. I couldn't look at all the. Oh man, I'm getting a uh, permanent marker all over me. Hopefully, I uh, didn't. I'm very. I was very careful when I got that Sylveon out, so hopefully, didn't put any permanent marker on it. Automatic deduction from PSA nine ten potential by doing that. Um, that would be pretty funny. Not really, but it would be pretty funny. Yeah. So what was I saying? That pack wouldn't let me write on it with permanent marker. So some other weird material on this pack. The way that they packed it. So we do have the Moltres Hollow there from that heavier pack. So a few hollows coming from these heavier packs. 22.15 here. It was probably a much smarter way of me doing this. I didn't need to write it maybe on the packs, just write it in the notebook, but whatever. It um, ended up working. And I'm, yeah, I'm fair to say if, if mid-range weights of packs are the ones that have the bigger hits in them, I, I, like I would definitely say that that debunks being able to weigh packs because if you can't prove, yeah, which which weight range kind of produces those hits and it's like a bit ambiguous, which it has been here, then like, yeah, I think that that's fair to say that it's not possible. All right, second last pack here from Evolving Skies. We have um, ticked a lifelong, <laughs> a channel long goal of mine in pulling a alt art from one of those tins. We have finally done it. All those people who commented out there saying that they'd done it, I can join the club in saying that I have now pulled that. Our last and heaviest pack, 22.18. Let's see what we've got here. Something to finish it off would be nice. We will find out shortly. If not, I would say that the mid-range packs definitely were better than the heavies, or the lights even were, were better. In our last pack, we do have a no-hitter there. So we count hollows we've got a few hits in each of the ranges i will do that summary as i mentioned after um here are our hits a whole bunch of hollows 10 hollows there across all of the different ranges we have two full art v's we've got two suicune standard v's two full art v's there with the beautiful glaceon very off center and the medichamp and then we have the rainbow rare into the best of all, the Sylveon VMAX Alt Art. Shoosh! What a hit that is. All right, I'll um, quickly cut to some of the stats. All right, so a little summary of the stats across 36 packs that we weighed. The ones in the 20 gram weight range, we got five hits out of eight packs in that range. Then the 21 gram range, we got eight of 19 packs in that range that had hits in it and then the heavy range the 22 plus we only got three out of the nine hits in that range um i definitely think that it's like you cannot weigh these packs i think that it's too um sporadic in what has hits and what doesn't have hits the alt art came from a very middleweight pack so i think completely debunked to the fact that you can weigh Evolving Skies packs. I'm sure everyone out there might have different opinions. I'm not trying to set an opinion. This was just a bit of fun, as well as opening Evolving Skies that is a, such a cool set. So we'll add that into the grading pile, send that off to be graded because it looks beautiful and clean and very, very um, big potential here for a PSA 10. Thank you all for watching. We'll catch you in that next video. Please do smash that like and subscribe button and we'll see you soon. Waka 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 wa